Hello, everyone. I'm Michael Dana. Thanks so much for joining us. A Louisiana driver is dead after his vehicle struck a fully loaded sugarcane hauler head-on last week. The accident happened just two days after a train struck a trailer full of sugarcane in Point Capee Parish. That crash derailed the train and sent the truck driver to the hospital. According to Louisiana State Police, the driver of the truck hauling the cane suffered only minor injuries. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us, this is why these crashes should stand as a stark reminder to all Louisiana motorists that they need to be alert during this sugar cane grinding season. This is what it looks like when an SUV crashes head on with a loaded truck hauling sugar cane. State Police say 19 year old Jonathan Austin of Port Allen died at the scene here on Louisiana Highway 413 in West Baton Rouge Parish. Troopers say the cane truck driver tried to avoid the crash and was not at fault. Just two days before in Point Capi Parish, this was the scene when a train slammed into a truck carrying about 100,000 pounds of sugar cane. The train came off the tracks and crews were at the site cleaning for days. Luckily, in that crash, the driver of the truck was not hurt badly. Both crashes drive home the point that drivers of these loaded trucks and the drivers of the cars and trucks around them who share the road need to be more alert than normal. Everybody needs to watch out for one another this time of year. Sergeant Marcus Smith with Louisiana State Police says grinding season is no time for drivers to become complacent. There's a lot of weight behind these trucks, so they're not just going to be able to stop on a dime. So the drivers of the trucks need to increase their stopping distance and be prepared, and also the people that are driving around them need to understand that these trucks can't stop immediately and there's a lot of weight behind them. Them. My family drives that same road that those trucks are on, so I want my trucks to be as safe as anybody else's. Cesar Ramagas has been farming sugar cane since the early 80s and preaches safety to his drivers. And he's tough on drivers who don't follow the rules. I was at my shop picking up parts and he passed my shop doing about 60 miles an hour on it, a, cur a very curvy road with a load. and. Uh, I took off following him, and by the time I got to the mill, he had beat me to the mill, and I didn't even let him drive the truck home. Ramagos says he fired that driver on the spot, and if he sees other farmers' drivers breaking the law, he calls that farmer or the mill. Everybody's in a hurry to get everywhere, and it's too easy just to pass up that 18-wheeler right before that red light, so you're first. But he doesn't have that. He, you just shorten the, the amount of space that he has to stop, so that. That's how a bunch of these accidents are unavoidable, but in turn, it becomes that truck driver's responsibility. He's at fault. And for farmers like Ramagos, scenes like these weigh heavier on his mind than that whole load of sugar cane. In Iberville Parish, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Sergeant Marcus Smith says if farmers think they might have overloaded a trailer with cane or other crop, he or she can call state police and troopers will come out and weigh that trailer before it hits the road.